What's up you guys? Welcome back to Ari's Amazing Art. Today we are doing something fun. We're going to paint this button up because school's starting and we want to look fashionable. You know, we want to look cute. So that's what we're doing today. Make sure to subscribe and uh, let's get started. All right, so today I got this plate for my paint instead of a cardboard slab. All right, let's flatten this out. All right, what I want to do is I want to paint a sunflower, like a big one. I want it like the stem to go from here and then the sunflower right there. And the sunflowers have like like little stems poking off of their stem with another sunflower. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to need some yellow. So let's grab this. So we got our yellow. We need our green. Oh, that's right. Ari, you don't have green. So we have to make more. So there's that. We have this, these greens right here. This one is more of a turquoise. It says it right here, turquoise green. So we're going to use this one. Let's just get this thing started. So we're going to start off with the stem. So we're going to make some green. That's a lot of blue. I need a blending brush. Hold up. This can be my blending brush because it's like the little hairs are like frayed everywhere. So we're going to use that one. Let's make this green. Okay, guys, I was wondering why the yellow wasn't coming out as fast as the blue. And it's like this layer of dry paint is stuck on top. You see? You see that? Gross. Let's get that out. Now I have yellow all over my fingers. Great. All right. Let's put this back on. Okay, we are back in session. There we go. So we're going to add just a little bit more yellow. We're going to start off with the stems. And then we'll move on to the sunflowers. We already made the green. We don't want it to dry up, so we'll do the stems first. Put my blending brush in the water. I have sunflowers in the in my backyard, so that's my reference. Oh, we forgot this green. And yes, guys, I am going to wear this to school because it's going to be cute. So the sunflower is going to be like kind of he like right here because I want it to be angled so it has more more character by the way this isn't fabric paint this is just regular acrylic paint because acrylic paint is fine on fabric I mean it will wash off over time but it stays on for a while I don't, I don't own fabric paint just because I don't really do this all the time so if you want to go buy yourself some fabric paint by all means go ahead it's not gonna hurt I never realized how hard it was to paint on clothes because like when you paint it like wrinkles up a little bit so you have to be really slow and careful with it. Let's make the little branches off of this stem. This one's gonna go this way. These stems are smaller than the big one sometimes. This one's gonna be smaller. And then we'll have another little sunflower right here. A big one. Let's move that stem a little closer to the top of the shirt. There we go. We're gonna do another one right here. This one's gonna be tiny. So this one's gonna be on a stem and then I'm just gonna paint just the flower, the sunflower here, maybe here, here. I wasted a ton of green. I'm gonna put something over it so it doesn't dry out because my fan's literally right above me. I should probably just get another plastic plate and do it, but I'm too lazy to get up. So we're gonna like bend this bag and put it over the paint like that. And let's just hope it doesn't dry out fast. All right, now onto the sunflowers. Okay, so, I thought this was black. Doesn't this look black? No, it's called Payne's Gray, and Payne's Gray is actually like a blue color. It looks black, right? Where's the lid? What the heck? I lost the lid. Oh, it was right here. Let me show you guys. See, it looks like a navy blue color. It's called Payne's Gray. I, I don't know what that means, but whatever. I thought it was black. I'm really trying to clean these brushes off. We found it, I found the black. I should get an angled brush. Nope, no angled brushes. All right, we're just gonna have to work with the one. So this one is broken. Y'all like my nail polish? Isn't it cute? All right, let's get these petals done. Guys, I accidentally stroked some black in the yellow. Oh no. It's okay, we can make it work. I should probably wait for the black to dry. <laughs> I'm not really liking how I did the petals. Guys, I wasn't thinking and I made a petal on the stem. I don't know what to do. So I just added some white over the green and then we're gonna paint over it 
with some yellow. All right, guys, I just realized it doesn't look like a sunflower because the black spot needs to be much bigger. All right, let's get these leaves done. You know, it's starting to look like a sunflower now that we got the leaves. All right, you guys, let's get this second sunflower done. All right, so the black dot can be here. The petals um, are like skinnier than I than those, so we're gonna do these skinnier. Let's add a little more yellow. My sister just gave me some powdered donuts and I'm so happy. So let me eat these real quick. Okay guys, so I painted a sunflower here and now I'm just um, adding some yellow to make the highlights and everything. My sister joined me, so hi. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and uh, let's get a close up on this. Thanks for watching. Bye! By the way, you guys, I'm sorry for the weird sounds when I was cutting up my video. Um, it would just not work out and like, it was, it was being really weird. So I'm really sorry for that. I hope y'all enjoyed the video though.